Hi guys, um, as part of the new system, uh, Ben mentioned that we're going to be self creating food diaries. So I wanted to kind of take you through the template that we use um, to create your food diaries and show you a bit kind of how to build the perfect day. Um, the most important thing to realize is that we're looking for that 80 to 90% compliance. We don't want 100% compliance. We want you to have that at least 10% um, of free time to do what you want to eat and drink and all the rest of it. Um, but we think that 80% is around the sweet spot for you, so you need to be above that. Um, essentially, what we're looking for is for breakfast, we want protein, veg, and fats. Um, and th these are meals we're talking about without training. We'll talk about training a bit, bit later on. But for breakfast, we want, po breakfast, we want protein, veg, and fat. Um, for lunch, we want protein, veg, um, and a very small amount of carb if you are having any. So no big noodle salads and stuff. But if you want a little bit of brown rice or something like that, it's not going to kill you. Um, and then the same for dinner, uh, protein, veg, and you can have a bit more carbs there, particularly if you have, have issues with your sleep, you probably want a bit more carbs. And of course, with those, you know, if you have a little bit of fat here and there, some olive oil with it and on your salad, that kind of thing, that's not a big deal either, you know, so don't stress. Um, snacks, uh, we're looking at, at protein, um, veg, and fats, you know, nuts, um, uh, cold cuts, leftovers, that kind of thing. You know, we don't want to see just a, like a carb snack um, or, you know, uh, yeah, I don't mind if you just have a protein snack. We definitely don't want to see just a carb snack. Um, and then the way things change post workout is post workout, we need protein and carbs, okay, without a doubt. So, um, you know, if you train before breakfast, your breakfast would have a carbohydrate component in it as well. You know, we don't want to see you just have proteins and fats after your training. Um, we want to see how that carbohydrate repl replace all uh, the muscle glucose that you've lost through the training. Um, yep, yeah, and then if you um, if it your, doesn't coincide, the training doesn't coincide with a major meal, then you will need some liquid nutrition. In fact, we recommend you do take a shake after your weightlifting days. Okay, and that shake would have protein powder in it. Um, and then you know you look. Up, it's got vegetable, but essentially putting your greens powder in would be a great thing. And you need some kind of carbohydrate in your shake. So you know you can eat a banana or eat a piece of fruit. And if you were going to have fruit during the day, post workout is probably the best place to have your fruit. Okay. So essentially, the way the whole compliance thing works in the food is you have 21 main meals a week, three three times a day, seven days. So you get a compliance score out of 21. So we're looking for before. Between 17 and 19 of those would be greens, okay? And then we're looking, we're definitely looking for those reds above that. Yeah, you've got those two, three, four major meals that you can do what you want to do. Um, as far as snacks, some people snack, some people don't. So if you're having, you know, if you have a snack every single day, that's seven snacks. We're looking for that 80% that compliance across your snacks as well. Um, when we look at the other factors, okay, so for water, we're really only, we're really only dealing in greens and reds, okay, we've still got the yellows going because it'll show you kind of things that need improvement and things that are very, very far away from where they should be, but essentially, if you're a guy, you need three plus liters of water a day to be a green, if you're a girl, you need two and a half plus liters of water a day to be a green, okay, if you're kind of half a liter underneath that, you're probably a yellow, um, but it's not doing you any favors. And if you're further underneath that, then you're grossly dehydrated and it could be massively impacting on your energy levels, your mood, your, your fat loss results. Uh, sleep, green, seven and a half hours a night, half an hour less than that, you, you might be okay. Um, anything less than that, you're a red. Okay, so we're trying to eliminate as many reds as possible with a lifestyle. Um, and then exercise, um, moving for five plus hours a week or exercise sessions, you know, you need to move five out of seven days, the body really, really needs it, it can improve your mood, um, it's going to improve your sex drive and all the good stuff, yeah. Um, you know, if you're three to four, where kind of I think a lot of us are, then that's the way to roll, but if you're less than three, then, you know, you really don't kind of have the right to have an amazing body, there's no question around it. If you want, you know, the more you can do the better, as long as it's great exercise, if you're under, you know, if you're only doing twice a week or, you know, two sessions and a walk, you, you're really not doing yourself any favors again. Um, coffee and booze are a bit of a gray area. We'd like to see you have no more than one coffee a day and that's pre-workout. So post-workout, we don't want any coffee. Um, training raises cortisol, which is a stress hormone, and coffee further stimulates those pathways. So, you know, with the stress we've got in our life, we don't want, we don't want to add more to it. Where do you have milk or not in that coffee is up to you. Okay, so if you can handle dairy, that's cool. 
there's no question that adding milk and sugar and stuff are not going to help you either. Okay, so, but if you have your white coffee, have it how you want to have it. Have it before training. It's a green. Okay, if you have it after training or um, you have more than one, it's a red. Okay, and it would go in your snack column. Um, and the same with booze. Okay, any booze is a red, but obviously we we're, we're not going to encourage you to drink. But you know we believe you should be having a couple of drinks a week and going for great, you know, high quality red wines and that kind of thing. Um, but if you have booze with a meal, then that meal is not a green, okay? And if you have booze outside of a meal, that's counted as a snack and that's counted as a red snack, okay? But remember, we're always coming back, we don't want perfection, okay? That's the most important thing. We're not emphasizing perfection here. We want you to be perfectly imperfect to get a result.